to create some sort of b-roll or cinematic sequence something that they can post on their Instagram or show their product through video it's a great way to make extra money and they really don't take a lot of effort in today's video I'm going to show you exactly how I create these sequences for a Chanel spec now I am not sponsored by Chanel but I do love the products hello no, but in all actuality, this video is not sponsored by Chanel. But I do love this bottle, and it has some great lights and some super awesome bubbles to play with. So, let's get going. But before we jump in, please don't forget to follow me on Instagram, at Gabrielle Ruddick. Also, like and subscribe to see more filmmaking videos by me. This super simple setup was a black backdrop, a table with a black reflector, and one LED light panel. Also, I used the Canon 5D Mark III and a 100mm macro lens. Here, I've manually blurred out the focus, and now I'm swiveling the bottle in front of the lens to get this nice sort of blue lens flare effect. Here I have the table at a bit of an angle here, so we're just going to bring this bottle into the side of the frame and let gravity do the rest by bringing the bubbles up to the bottom of the bottle. Here with the same camera setup, I stood the product upright and pushed it through the lens. We're also going to do another variation here because you want to have more than one thing to choose from. So for this one, we're going to do a bottle drop down like that. So we'll drop it down and sort of slide it up to the part where it says toner. For the cut transition, I added a flare effect. I've now pushed the table out of the way because I'm going to be doing just the flips. So for this one, I really want the snap to change into the bottle. So basically, I'm holding the bottle with one hand. I come down, snap, try not to move very much, place the bottle in my hand, and that's where the jump cut will be. So it will be a hard cut. Then I flip. For this shot, I bring the table back, shake up the bottle, and set it down right in front of the lens. This shot here is crazy because it's really turning out to be one of my favorites of the whole cinematic sequence. And basically, I've torn up one of these um, little cotton balls. I got these for a dollar fifty, and I just tore it up because with the toner you actually put it on using a cotton ball. And there's no real camera movement. I'm just using my macro lens to zoom in and out, creating depth of field between these cotton pads that I've torn up here. So it's giving that sort of cloud effect. is almost identical to the cloud zoom in shot but really there's no zooming now I'm just pulling the cotton pads apart with the macro lens
This water spray shot was actually quite difficult to achieve. First, I set the bottle in front of the lens to do manual focus. Then I removed the bottle and sprayed with a spray bottle in the general direction where I had set my manual focus. For this shot, I didn't really want to use my face, so I decided to use my forearm in an angle that kind of looked like the side of a jawline. I wiped my arm with the toner on the cotton pad and it gave a really nice shine. Here I went in a nice transition, so you have your classic pan. brightness on this light relatively low, almost fully out, because I really want this to be quite a dramatic shot. For this shot, I'm just going to turn the reflector on top of the table, and that in turn is going to create our effect. For this final shot, I knew I really wanted a nice shot of the logo, but I also knew I needed a bit of movement in there. So I stood the bottle upright and I used a flashlight to go around the edges of the bottle. You have it guys i used one light one camera 100 millimeter macro lens a black background a table that adjusts um, height and tilt and a black reflector so basically anybody could do this shoot you couldn't have gotten most of these shots without the macro lens but for a tripod only um, no assistance shoot uh, i think it's a pretty good mock spec ad and that's it let's roll the spec Day, then please remember to follow me on Instagram, like and subscribe, leave a comment if you have any questions. I always get back to you guys. Bye.